Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough before we go to the next room. I'd actually like to mess with our current setup here a little bit. I'm gonna go 4-3 because I just want to get the dialogue for the next dealio going on here. Got it? Good. So yeah, um, hmm. There appears to be a secret behind that waterfall. Anyway. Hey there, I'm Cody! I'm a Water Team GR member! We're the ones who caught and are holding Grandmaster Jack. I'll release Jack and let you into the next room if you can beat me. Of course, you also win a free booster pack for a victory. Yes! Oh, I mean... Uh, yes, Jack is number one priority. To fight, I require opponents to use four Magic Carp cards in their decks. Can't wait to duel. Do you want to duel me now? Yeah. It's so good, it's so good. You don't have four Magic Arp cards. If you don't include four Magic Arp cards in your deck, I won't fight. And that's the dialogue I wanted to hear. <laughs> All that's just for a smidge of dialogue. That is the PK Gam way. <laughs> Alright, now for the no path. Does your deck contain four Magic Arp cards? If so, I'd like to battle. I mean, I'd love to battle you. No. Oh, you don't want to duel? Okay, I understand. I guess I'll just keep Jack here for all of eternity. I've been waiting for a good duel. Come back later to- Come back. Man, I can't read today. <laughs> He's gonna play later. Uh, da -da. No, 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 yes. Magic Arm. All accounted for. Set aside four prize cards. Alright, let's duel. The Peril of- <gasps> You stole my deck name. You stole. My deck name. Actually, I knew this was coming. I just wanted to make that joke when the time came. <laughs> Alright, so Paralyze versus Paralyze. Let's go. Um, I already got a Gyarados, so that's good news for the future. But what should I use for now? That is the question. I mean, Seal is a pretty good choice because of its high HP, but Staryu's got that higher attack power, and I don't have a Dugong or a Star me to know what's coming in the future. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go with Seal, because Seal is the more longevity of the critters, and I'll hold one Magikarp in my hand just to see how things flop out. And plus power. Hmm. Hmm, you know, if I had Star You Out, I could have plus powered that Magikarp into Oblivion. But I don't. <laughs> it was a misprediction. I did not expect them to actually use Magikarp right away, because it's got such low HP. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll see how things turn out. And maybe he's anticipating my plus power, because he did not attack with his fish, but instead powered up his Scribble. Hmm... Well... I guess I'll do it that way. <laughs> Might as well. I'll just kind of accelerate things, prevent his Gyarados from popping out. And I got Challenge here, which means a potential Wigglytuff explosion. Possibly if I can get one out of there. And Surf Attack. That could be a problem. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I'm going to definitely try for the fill, fill up of the bench. Man, they never accept my challenge. But I will take two cards. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good stuff. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do I want to just fill up? I probably do. Just in case of Wigglytuff. And, I'll, yeah, I guess I'll Professor Oak right away. I, I do have the extra water to use, but you know, as I was saying, I don't want to don't want to sit on Professor Oak's too long. Okay, we got a Wiggly. Two Wigglies, but no. No Jiggly, and my bench is almost full, so I can't put anything else out there. So, you know what I could do? <laughs> I mean, I might as well. Just stall a little bit there. There we go. I'm not going to knock it out with the uh, Seal, but when I get Gyarados... <laughs> Alright, so you go ahead. Do your... Okay, <laughs> That'll, that still doesn't help your turn count or anything like that. I mean, you're gonna do the bubble, but that's not what I'm going for here, so... 
we are good to go now, thanks to the power of the stall. We do the Gyarados. And I might as well, too, <laughs> stall a little bit more <laughs> with more HP. Um, you know, one bench spot is going to be opened up when I, uh, when, when Seal inevitably, I mean, Dugon gets inevitably get knocked out, so I could actually do that anyway. And call it a turn. <laughs> <laughs> We're good for now. We're, I'm already had one prize card after all, and that leave Dugong with 10 HP. That would have normally knocked out Seal, but I utilize the power of evolution. And I guess we're good. Sorry, Dugong, you may be beautiful, but I just wasn't in the right spot to use you over the Gyarados because I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> you have the same attack power. I didn't know you were coming! <laughs> That's okay. Alright, so... That is a KO, and we now have the big fish O. And we're gonna go for the Bubble Beam, because it's got the Paralysis, and regardless of what attack I use, it'll still knock it out in two attacks, so... I might as well go for the Paralysis to prevent, or possibly prevent, Gyarados from taking excess damage. Didn't work, but might as well. <laughs> He's probably gonna go for the surf, yeah. And thus, Gyarados takes 30 due to no paralysis, but that's no big deal. For our Jew energy. Oh, you didn't. Wait, are you out of water? I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. That could be a big problem for you. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'm gonna use Dragon Rage this time because it looks fancier. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. And there's the Jigglite! <laughs> Only three energy cards before death rains upon everyone. Actually, it's already kind of already kind of death with Gyarados, but I got an alternative form of death coming here. Actually, that death is kind of inaccurate. Pokemon merely faints. As a matter of fact, death is highly inaccurate because Death is kind of kind of on the permanent side, and you know you take the Pokemon that have fainted to the Pokemon Center or use Revive or something like that. They're good to go again, no problem. But yes, it's a definite big difference between fainting and death. And <sighs> you stall for another turn. You stall for another turn. And <laughs> um, well. If you're, if you're low on energy, I might as well see how that'll turn out, you know? Because, yeah, it's, it's probably not probably not in your favor there. And, yeah, you're out of energy for sure. Well, we didn't get to Wiggly. I mean, I guess we could Wiggly just for the fun of it. But, I mean, we didn't get to do the Wiggly sweeping. But that's okay, because we did another sort of sweeping in the form of Gyarados. Victory! Goes to the big fish. And also sort of a seal. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> and look at this, we got a new booster pack! You're like, wait, wait, wait. Why haven't we been getting more booster packs lately? Well, that's because at a certain point of the game, you're kind of locked into a certain series of booster packs. you got to kind of use those cards within those booster packs. And then as you unlock more opponents, you can get more booster packs from more cards in the future. It's sort of like a progressive system to kind of get used to using so-and-so so many different cards, and then they add more to the mix later. But anyway, so basically all these are going to be pretty much new. Uh, <laughs> so you got a different sort of Mewtwo here via the Extended Series Complete Recovery. Remove all damage counters and all other counters from Mewtwo. So that means poison as well. As well as confusion. Well, technically, confusion is not a counter. You just turn your card sideways, I mean, upside down, excuse me, to indicate confusion with details. And then Psy Blast. You may discard energy cards. Now, you think? I, 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 yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be using that one when I make the, my deck back to, back to the way it was. You know? Probably. <laughs> Uh, fossil excavation. You can pull out mysterious fossils. Uh huh. So it's like an extra mysterious fossil, so to speak. Even though you can only have four, but it kind of thins your deck as well. 
So, if you're using a mysterious fossil deck, this would probably be a good choice, I would say. Um, Metapod, this one's... The picture is... Yeah, it's... Metapod from a very far away camera angle, but we can see the shape of a Metapod. It looks better in person, the actual car, but anyway. <laughs> Green Shield on this card isn't play. Ignore weaknesses when any of your grass Pokemon are damaged. Aha! So it's like ignoring the fire weaknesses back over at the Fire Forest, only it's an actual Pokemon power. Oh! And confusion with the mysterious power potential with the heads. Not 70 HP is also pretty nice. Uh, well, this is, I guess, not that new. It's regular old Ivysaur, but it is, I guess, new to this walkthrough. This is what you would typically see in the base set of cards, and yes. But I think I would prefer using the extended series over this one because of its uh, faster attacks, basically. Uh, regular Magnemite, we've seen some of these before too. We got some Paralysis, some Zelt Destructin, not much to say there. Uh, Water Spout, 10 damage for each energy. Yep. Yep. So, like the Water Gun, it's a Water Spout instead of Water Gun from the Extended Series Shelter. And 50 HP isn't too shabby. And look at this version of Staryu. You might want to consider this. See, so you can. Ignore all weaknesses of water Pokemon, which makes Staryu potentially a good stall versus Lightning. But you also got the Spinning Attack, which is a 20, but it takes two energy this time. So yeah, it's something to consider if you need something like that in your deck. Uh, female Nidoran from the Extended Series. You got your Tail Whip Suzz. That's more, more powerful than your typical Tail Whip, I've got to say. <laughs> uh, and Jigglypuff. You got the friendship song. Gotta bring those basics. Guess what you can use that for? If you said wiggly tough, you would be correct. <laughs> and then expand. You can reduce damage by 10. That's probably the best version of Jigglypuff, in all honesty. Because uh, you get that automatic damage reduction. Uh, and then, well I, well, I mean, well, I should say, it's not that automatic. I mean, you still need two energy for that. But the thing about it is that if you use Lullaby Jigglypuff, the opponent 50-50 chance of just waking up and being able to attack you anyway. So, at the very least, you know you're going to be knocking off 10 damage off of every attack with this Jigglypuff. So I would say this is the best Jigglypuff out there right now. You had quite a lot of strength, even under my dueling terms. Uh, I guess I have to release Jack now. Yeah! No, it's not this, not this time. Mr. Jack, you're free to go! Yay! <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you for some time, Mint. It's me, Chuck, the Pokemon card Grandmaster. For your selfless help, you have my utmost gratitude. So here's a promotional card. I'll give you a special card to express my thanks. Please use it to make an absolutely gorgeous deck. Behold, the incredibly powerful Magikarp level 10. Well, sort of. It's got the double flop, two coins, 10 damage times number of heads. That alone probably makes it better than your typical Magikarp. But also, it's got this, Dragon Rage. If at least one of them has tails, it does nothing. So 25% chance it'll actually get to use that, but it's 50 for two. That might scare the opponent a little bit there. <laughs> Uh, but it's got 30 HP, so it's probably not going to last that long. But yeah, that's a interesting version of Magikarp if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I believe Grandmaster Rod is still in need of your help. If you could, Mint, please go to his aid. I'm going to return to my place at the Pokemon Dome. Please stop by sometime for a card battle or two. Will do. I'll be waiting to fight you with my gorgeous deck. Woo! <laughs> I guess I should open the way to Alex's room, huh? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. I'll just place this here... Geronimo! Woo! <laughs> just picked up the whole bridge, plopped it over there, good to go. There you are, we now go into Alex's room. Alex is a fascinating guy, hope you both have a great duel. Yeah, I'm Cody, let's duel, let's duel! You need a magic card for, you need four! Oh, I'll battle with you! No, no, no. We're going to bed. We're not going to bed. Oh, so he's a pretty happy guy overall. 
I wonder if I should just modify my deck back to the Water Psychic. I don't know. I'm doing so well with this one, and I, yeah, I said I wanted to keep using new strategies, so... Anyway, special rule incoming here. Water! Water! I'm Alex! One of Team GR's water members. If you'd like to go on, fight me! Water! However... I have a special rule. Your bench may only have three Pokemon. Would you like duel? No. Water! And then a door opens. <laughs> Water! <laughs> this guy's something. Only three bench Pokemon are allowed in the fight in fights against me. Yes. Lay out four prize cards and we shall begin! Water! <laughs> Bench Summoner attack is a go! Even though he's got a small bench. That kind of hinders Wigglytuff a little bit, but not that much. He'll still do 40 damage, so... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, he's got stuff like... Poker flute and stuff like that, as you see, but yeah, I'm not sure why he wants to summon that many critters to the bench that quickly. Really? <laughs> that quickly because of the um, low bench counts. But maybe he just wants to make sure he's, he doesn't have a lack of basic Pokemon, even though you kind of get basics during the regular course of the game. Uh, unless I'm misunderstanding the strategy or I'm not seeing a strategy, but anyway. Uh, I think we're gonna go. Seal, save Jigglypuff, prepare a Gyarados, and call it a beginning. Let's see what we get. I go first. What a Billa. Wait, wait, he's got a seal as well. Uh, a different version of seal. Growl. Reduce that damage by 10. Like expand, only no damage. And Ice Beam can cause paralysis. So that right there might make you consider using this seal over the seal that I'm currently using. But I don't really have this sort of seal, do I? <laughs> anyway, let's start nicking off a little bit of damage here. I don't know if I'll be able to continue doing more damage with seal because it's going to start doing Growl. Yeah. And that uh, makes my attack power zero, so... I mean, I could try for this, and see if I can run them out of energy cards, but for the most part, I probably should just focus on getting something that has higher than 10 attack power, otherwise I'm just going to keep doing zeros like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got more energy. And, yeah, it's also kind of nice to keep energy removing him if I have the power to, because... Well... Paralysis, as mentioned before, but anyway, let's go ahead, make, oops, make a, a big fish, and attack once again for fun. I don't know why I'm bothering to, <laughs> I, mean, I think it would be faster to just go to the end of the turn, rather than show an attack animation, but I don't know, I don't know, it's just more fun that way. <laughs> um, yeah, Gyarados is powered up. Might as well, it's just, just going to keep growling. Now, this, this, this is going to be like another energy removal, because I'm actually knocking out the seal this time. But, he did manage to get a bench Pokemon in the meantime, so... Eh, can I get a bet powered up bench? Maybe. I don't, it's... The AI just always refuses my challenge, it seems like. Especially, possibly, when they know a Jigglypuff exists, but I'll try it. At least it's a draw two cards. Yeah, you stinker. Uh, let's go energy removal with that seal. And, um... Should I go... Bubble Beam? I think I should. Because it's two attacks either way, and I could go for the Paralysis. Just to see. Hmm. Hmm. He is... Oh, I was gonna say, he's, he's running low on his bench. I like his, his attack was made to fill up the bench, but, uh kind of having trouble filling up that bench somehow. Uh, Alright, so that's all powered up. Let's go for the Dugong then. Uh, Dragon Rage for the fun animation! 
And there you go. Yeah, it's got kind of like it just happened to be drawing into the Gyarados lately. You know, the Gyarados line rather than in something else. Like in the last last one, I had automatic Gyarados from the start, so I played the seal. <laughs> but then I got to do it on later when it was too late by then. <laughs> and the flop attack is a go-go. Um. Well. Um. Uh, did I just play around with them a little bit? I don't. I feel like I could end this game really quickly. But should I? <laughs> Watch, he just sweeps me now because of rapid. What? You. I was totally expecting you to do rapid evolution. No way. Like, I, was, I wanted Gyarados versus Gyarados. And you did that? You did that. Really? Well, for that, I'm beating you now. <laughs> That's your own fault! It's your own fault, man! <laughs> all, just do 10 damage to my big fish, even though I, I gave him a chance! <laughs> Water... I mentioned booster pack. Yeah, these are the sorts of booster packs you typically get around these parts. Um, uh, wait, you, you seen that one before? Wait, didn't you? Yeah, it stops the trainer cards. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're getting a lot of duplicates because we've we're basically exhausted these booster packs for the most part. I'm drained and defeated. Water. I'll open the doors. Water! <laughs> doors open. Advance. The <laughs> sky. <laughs> Roman lose this time! Water! And no. Water! <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end out the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we take a look-see into the last room and battle. The leader of death. Okay, of fainting. <laughs> I have to make that one joke one more time. <laughs>